This week we're taking a look at the LCR-X revolver from Ruger. Now Ruger has a whole line of LCR revolvers, but only a couple of them have the X suffix. And what that means is that you've got an exposed hammer. So this gun, we've got a cleared gun here. This is a five shot 38 special plus P rated revolver. But in this case, the gun can obviously be shot double action, pulling all the way through the trigger, or single action, wherein the hammer's cocked and then the trigger's pressed with a much lighter pull. But the Ruger LCRs are really groundbreaking in the sense that Ruger really kind of reconceived how the revolver is made. They made some of the best double action revolvers ever back in the days of the Speed 6, Security 6, and Service 6. But in these guns, they've gone more to the concealed carry market and less to the service end of the spectrum. This gun has a monolithic 7000 series aluminum frame. There's a stainless steel barrel insert. In this case, this particular gun has a 1.87 inch barrel, so it's under two inches. Uh, and, and by the way, this monolithic aluminum frame is attached to a polymer grip frame here, and that gives this gun an overall weight of less than 14 ounces. Now, all of the fire control mechanism is contained in the grip frame. Uh, the, you can see that the two are joined right here together. Uh, the, the, the polymer part houses the, the trigger uh, guard, the, the grip frame itself, onto which this Hogue Tamer monogrip is attached. Now, the Tamer, the monogrip, of course, one piece, attaches to a stub on the on the grip frame with a single screw and then back here we've got a sorbethane in insert that protects the web of the hand when shooting because laws of physics you've got a very lightweight revolver and you've got relatively hot ammunition it's not a 357 but it's a 38 special plus p so you're going to feel it when you fire it for those of you who are familiar with ruger revolvers it has kind of the classic press in to release on the cylinder release and the cylinder itself on this gun is worth taking a look at because it's very heavily sculpted and it, it has kind of a uh, somewhat shiny appearance but that's because it has a uh, PVD or, or particle vapor deposition coating on it that's extremely durable. It is a stainless steel cylinder. So from the, from the front you can see how it's very well uh, sculpted to eliminate uh, any unnecessary weight. Again, this is this is a carry uh, concealment revolver that's designed for lightweight and quick point shooting. Now there is a sight at the front, uh, a fairly uh, noticeable sight with a white bar insert, and then the rear sight simply consists of a groove in the frame. So again, we've got single action, double action guns like this. Typically, again, I'll check to see that it's clear, but typically. You know, you're, you're, you're pulling out and you're, you're, you're cycling as quickly as you can by just pulling through the trigger. But if you have a longer shot that you need to make with the X model LCRs, you can cock that hammer and then you have a much lighter trigger pull. So it allows you to be a little bit more uh, deliberate and steady with that shot. So the Ruger LCR-X, as I said, is a part of a family of revolvers. Ruger has these in multiple different chamberings. Uh, some models are just LCRs, some are LCR-Xs with a hammer. Uh, fewer have the hammer. So I think as the line matures, you're going to see more LCR-X models. For more information on this gun and other Ruger guns, visit Ruger.com. For more information on all sorts of other guns, visit AmericanRifleman.org.